Hey folks, hello and welcome. My name is uh, my name is Jason and I'm here with my co-host Catherine and today we're going to be talking about demystifying cloud native concepts for the business world, which is a mouthful, but what we're really here to talk to talk to you about is the business value subcommittee for the CNCF and the work we're doing to try and translate some of the technical concepts to business leadership. Uh, so, like I said earlier, I'm, I'm Jason. I'm one of the co-chairs of the CNCF Business Value Subcommittee. Uh, I work at Buoyant on the Linkerd project along with along with Catherine. Catherine. Yeah, and um, so while we both work at Buoyant, our journey started long before that. Uh, we both run the Kubernetes uh, meetup uh, in DC, where we decided to write a series on the cloud native landscape for the new stack. Uh, and that led to the creation of the CNCF business uh, sub, uh, uh, subcommittee, oh, sorry, business value subcommittee. And only most recently we started working together at Boyan. And so basically ever, ever since we're having a lot of fun at work, but also at our side projects, including the one we're going to tell you to, uh, about today. All right. Uh, so just to get started, right, like Catherine said, we met working on the DC Kubernetes meetup. Right. And, and and it was a really good experience. And, you know, what we what we found was there was a lot of there was a lot of confusion around some of what what the various projects and products in the cloud native space really were. Uh, so at the time, Catherine was was already working with the new stack, writing articles about various cloud native concepts. And, you know, she was just beginning work on a series to talk about the cloud native landscape and and make it you know, make it go from this kind of scary picture that you see here to something that's that's easier to digest if you're not already like deep, deeply indoctrinated in the cloud native tools. Um, so, so Catherine asked if I could help out. And so we agreed to, to start doing the series and basically do one article per, per column or per layer, depending on, on which way you're looking at it, that, that talks about, you know, say, you know, take runtime, right? We talk about what what the what the runtime is. You know what is cloud native storage. What are the what are the products there that matter or or don't matter to you, right? And like why should you care, uh, or or not, right? Um, and so you know as as we wrote it, our goal was that even if you weren't already an engineer or already familiar with with the cloud native space, you know you're already an expert in Kubernetes. We wanted folks to be able to to read and understand what we were saying about, about these layers. Um, and so we ended up getting some really positive feedback from a lot of different folks, whether it was on, on LinkedIn or Twitter or actually from, from the new stack uh, folks themselves. So it, it gave us a sense that this was, this was actually a pretty important, uh, important set of things. And, and we realized that this is really the type of content that the CNCF should be providing, right? We think they should provide the tools to get like a shared understanding of what this stuff is instead of just, just the tech. At the time, Catherine had already been working pretty tightly with some of the folks over at the CNCF, you know, about various, various marketing concepts. And, you know, she, she saw the chance to start our own, our own committee over there at, at, at the CNCF that would specifically target how do you translate the business value of CNCF projects to the broader public. And so that's how, how we got started. Uh, over to you, Catherine. Yeah, and so uh, we kicked off the business value subcommittee with the goal to translate these cloud native and CNCF projects to a larger audience. Uh, so why do we think this is so critical today? Um, first of all, technology has really become a strategic differentiator. Most businesses have a digital presence uh, and some, for some it's even the only way they interact with uh, their customers. And um, at some point, maybe even today, customers will not tolerate any more businesses that don't allow them to buy, book, or make a uh, reservation online. They really demand that convenience. And because of that, technology has become really business critical. Um, and that means that people on the business side uh, are increasingly involved in strategic uh, technology discussions that will impact their organizations for years to come. Um, and uh, yeah, to make these types of decisions, they have to understand the technologies, right? And as well, the impact they have, uh, even if it's on a high level. Um, so in short, the, the world has changed. And so we have the requirements on executives. And we're really in a world that's calling for tech savvy business leaders. But if you look at the content out there on cloud native technologies, it's mostly targeted to technologists, 
And it's almost impossible to understand without a, a computer science background. Uh, so our mission is to start building that content and make the CNCF a reliable source on the topic for business people, just as it is for technologists today. Uh, and that's a pretty ambitious goal. So the question is like, how do you even get started? To so to explain those concepts, we need to find a starting point. And that's why we started with a glossary. And Jason will tell you a little bit more about that. All right. Thanks, Kevin. Um, yeah. So I'm actually going to going to step back in time a little bit. Right. We had our first couple subcommittee meetings and it was great. We had, you know, 30 plus folks would get on, talk about various things that we could create. There was a lot of energy and a lot of excitement. Right. And 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 that was that was awesome. Right. But what we what we ran into really quickly was an understanding that um, that we weren't all using the same terms in the same way. Right. Like I might talk about a canary release and someone else would be thinking, I mean, a blue green deployment. Right. Or, you know, do we have a shared understanding of GitOps, Right. Or, or whatever that that thing might be. Turns out a lot of these terms, you know, your your definition of them is a bit subjective based on where you work, um, you know, what sort of role you're in. Right. And and in order to create a shared understanding between folks, having a shared language, having a shared lexicon is, is extremely important. And so, and so we thought, hey, listen, why not build, why not build these, these new projects or these new, these new products for the CNCF on the basis of a really strong foundation, right? And that foundation is this glossary. So if we take, you know, as an example, the term service mesh, right? Like I might use it. I might use it in one way, someone from another project or another company might use it in a different way, right? And, and we want to ensure that, you know, we, we have that, we have that shared definition. We also understand, you know, where a service mesh begins and an API gateway or a service mesh ends and an API gateway begins as an example, right? Um, and so, so again, like that's where the glossary started coming in really handy and, you know, to get the best definitions we possibly could, realized that we needed to crowdsource them. So building the glossary as an open source project, you know, allows us to, to all go in, you know, have open discussions, raise issues and track changes over time to these documents. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and pull up the, the Git repo real quick. So here you see, um, here you see the, uh, the glossary, right? You can find us over on GitHub. You can see what work's been done. Um, you can see the, the readme. You can go into the definitions folder. Just take a peek at, at what's written, what still has to be written. Uh, on that note, if you're looking to pick something up, please come over here into issues, you know, grab something, you know, grab the various terms that are, that are important or that need work on. Uh, love to hear from you in some of our discussions as far as like, hey, what terms are really important? Is this, is this a good structure for a definition? Um, and then of course, if you wanna contribute, uh, come do come do a pull request. If you're confused by that process, please reach out to us on Slack. Happy to walk you through it. We've done some documentation, but we're also happy to hold your hand as you get started with Git, so that you can you can contribute a little bit. Um, and so with that, I'm going to hand it back over to you, Kevin. Yeah. So um, let's look at uh, our service mesh entry as an example. Uh, so this is the format, right? Uh, but please note, it may change. Um, we're always tweaking and improving it. Um, but our goal is really to make it as user-friendly as possible. Um, so we decided to break it down into three sections, what it is, the problem it addresses, and how it helps. And when explaining a term, we want to zoom out first and kind of create the context for people who may not be uh, familiar with uh, these um technologies, right? So in this case, we're uh, saying that it is that we're dealing with a small uh, with a lot of sm uh, small app components communicating over a network. And we try to uh, use examples people can relate to, right? And then so this network is kind of similar to a Wi Fi network. Um, it has the same challenges. So really kind of bringing these things home, make them more tangible. Uh, and once we've explained what it is, we dive into the problem it addresses and how it can help. Um, so yeah, this is the current look um, and uh, please check it out and provide feedback. And um, yeah, I mean, if this sounds interesting, uh, we would love you to get involved. Uh, help us make this an awesome cloud native glossary. 
uh, let's demystify all these buzzwords, make them accessible to anyone who's interested. Um, and yeah, like whether you're a technologist uh, who enjoys breaking these concepts down, or if you're on the business side uh, with a solid understanding of the space and can really empathize with people just getting started, you may still remember how hard that was for you. And that's really important when creating this type of content. Uh, so where can you find us? Uh, of course, on GitHub, you just um, saw um, what uh, we're like Jason just pointed to it. Uh, you can start. You can get started right away uh, with first good issues. Uh, you can also just first get uh, in, um, uh, into a conversation on Slack. You can reach us on the CNCF workspace. You can sign up for a mailing list, and you can join our monthly meetings to get the invite, reach out via Slack, or um, send us an email, and we'll forward that um, to you. Yeah, great. Thank, thank you, Catherine. Uh, so, what's next? Bit of a bit of a call to action here. Uh, we're looking to add more terms to the glossary. We're really hoping that folks here attending this conference are going to be interested in in looking at the current definitions we have, seeing what they like, what they don't like, and providing some feedback. You know, ideally in a in a respectful way, either on GitHub, on Slack, or or wherever. Um, once that's, once that's in, in better shape and we've got the glossary moving, we're getting more terms, we're really looking forward to creating an ebook to go with that cloud native landscape, something that can be freely distributed by the CNCF to help people get a good sense of you know, what this thing is and, and how it's useful. Uh, beyond that, you know, something that's, that's very close to my heart is the idea that we could create a shared set of personas to help us understand who's doing what role inside of an organization, whether you're, whether you're a vendor, whether you're a, a customer building out a platform, whatever that may be, right? Get, get personas that everyone can kind of agree on so we understand the roles inside this space. And then, then beyond that, right, we'd love to hear from you. You know, Catherine and I are not like the arbiters or the gatekeepers for, you know, what is a good way to explain some of this stuff to folks. So we'd love to get, love to get your perspective you know, get some new ideas. We'd really love to have you attend our meetings and and help us help us make you know cloud native really accessible to everybody, right? And with that, you know, just want to say thanks. Appreciate y'all taking the time to uh, to watch this with us. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at at R. Jason Morgan. You can find Catherine on Twitter at at Kath Paga. And yeah, I think now it's time for questions. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>